and welcome everybody here in twitch chat and everybody on youtube for some kindred swain we got another swain control deck with kindred this is a really cool champion combination both kindred and swain are fun champions to play we're going to be playing so we got shadow isles and um and noxus together we're gonna to be playing a lot of small damage things we're gonna have like unspeakable horror vile feast that can do one damage we got death's hand with the two damage um and then three withering whales dealing one damage to everything and so that's going to help us out against the aggressive decks and clear out a lot of small units so that whenever we slay small units then kindred can mark the larger units and that should work out pretty well together but then since since uh if we don't have kindred it may be difficult to kill larger units so we have three scorched earths and an auction guillotine be able to kill all those damage units also um scorched earth very important to be able to destroy landmarks you know, if we play against something like Scar Grounds, we have to be able to kill the Scar Grounds. So we got the Scorchers for that, or Veil Temples, and that kind of stuff. Plus, we got Ravenous Flocks in here also for damage units or stun units, of course, with the Arachnoid Sentry combo. Um, so yeah, this looks pretty good. We got two Whisper Words for some card draw. Of course, Leviathan is some card draw. Rekindler brings back our champions whenever they're dead, because our deck definitely relies on the champions. And so we'll have Rekindler, Leviathan at the top end. Looks pretty sweet. All right, let's get to it. We'll play our five games in ranked with Kindred Swain. Here we go. All right, Fior Shen. So hopefully we get some damage on some stuff. I like it. Double Scorched Earth. Very good at killing damaged units. And then House Spider and Unspeakable Horror are good at damaging said units. Wow, they're just taking it. Just taking it. I am one with the land. That's a good card for them. I mean, it gives them something to play. My field is yours. Nature blesses her I don't really have anything to play right now. I don't think it's worth playing Arachnoid Sentry. That was a good turn for them. Alright, so Swain's almost leveled up now. We just dealt one point of damage, so we're almost there. I don't know, this Vile Feast is really good at... Busting up barriers. Let's just do this. So they could have Nopify. That'd be a worst case scenario. Looks like single combat. There's no before they would snap off, so this looks like single combat. Indecision is the first of many. Okay. So that's four non-combat damage for leveling up Swain. Now it's at five. So again, basically leveled up. How do we want to do this? Considering going like Vile Feast on Shen and then playing like multiple of these Evershade Stalkers and just attacking with them. Pass. Split their skin, watch them die. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Uh. 
Ooh. What's Leviathan? Heavy burdens. As it had to be. Protect and strike. Prepare the cargo. There is no excess when victory is at stake. All right, awesome. No concerted strikes. Not even like a rally. Wow, that was very good for us. Yeah, that was really good for us. Yeah, maybe I should just be passing here. I could see I could see that. Yeah, flock tugging or a post, nothing wrong with that. Uh, not a bad trade. Dark in the sky. Victory awaits. Yeah, I think y'all are right. I think just pass pass is just like the way to go with Leviathan Swain on on board, you know, just no reason to be uh too No, no reason to be too ready to do anything else. Okay. Vengeance that, Scorched Earth that. I'll take it. Man, that thing's so stunned. And there we go. There's a win. Kindred Swain. Swain with Shadow Isles. Removal. Looked good. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the the three mana hard removal spells with Scorched Earth and, and Guillotine. Alright, Rekindler gone, and we'll keep the rest. Could use a flock to go with our sentry. This is a great calling strike matchup, especially against Azir. They have the plus three plus one card. They can save Azir, and that would be sad, but besides that. The Emperor commands the land obey. Meh. Meh. Yeah, they can go wide quick. Sure, if we don't have... Um, if we don't have anything like Withering Whale, it, that can be kind of rough. Alright, pretty happy about that. Ranger's Resolve could be really, really valuable. And so just trading it with like one a chill in Vile Feast, I'm I'm happy with that. Um, I'll pass. I, Azir is super scary. I'm, I'm saving Culling Strike for Azir. Another whooping. I'll right, see if they have the plus three, plus one. Hopefully not. They do. So that's a lot of damage. It is damage now for Scorched Earth. I don't know if the Scorched Earth is really going to be able to do a whole lot of a whole lot else. Alright, 
No, I didn't vile here because I think just they have to have pump spells in hand. Yeah, like sharp sight. Like for them not doing anything else, like the, it's got to be pump spells in hand. And so if I just vile feast during combat, we just take like that extra damage. And I didn't really want to take that extra damage. We haven't drawn a champion yet, so Rekindler not helping out too much. Mother Moon, veil me. Never won. Without the other. Well, speak of not having a champion. Azir welcomes all his subjects. Forgive me. This would be so nice if Cooling Strike works. Because this works, yes! Mark the Marshal. Oh man. <laughs> Harvey's pretty excited about it behind me. Oh no! It was looking so good just a little bit ago. Well. It looked good just a little bit ago. What are you doing, Harvey? Mm. Let's not give that plus two, plus zero. Let's not turn that thing into a 4-1. Alright, that will do. Good job, Rekindler. With grace and precision. Dude, this deck is sweet. Okay, we got some aggro. Bunch of aggro. Definitely mulligan one kindred. And... I kind of think maybe just everything. No, we should keep Flock. I don't know. I want to keep a Kindred. Okay, good thing we mulligan Kindred. We won't heal for one, but we'll only go to 16. Mervin! That match deserves some love. Thank you, Mervin. Dude, that match was really good. It's Draven time. Oh, Azir! I thought it was going to be Draven time. Here, maybe I should have just taken that other three and then had like the nightfall afterwards. And that, I, I definitely wish I would have just not played that card and taken three more damage and had my unspeakable horror here to finish out his ear at this point. Ah, I just wasted all that. Now I have a calling strike. Uh, I just wasted that ravenous walk. I, I like the, the three Leviathans. It kind of feels like we don't have time for Whispered Words. Man, really good hand for our opponent. 
Really good hand. Yeah, they had, they had a great hand. Turns. Oh. Next turn's turn seven. I won't even be able to play Leviathan next turn. Alright, well, I guess I'm definitely playing you. So I could have got a Nightfall card there. The party has if I would have played that first. All right, couple fearsome. If they don't have direct damage, we have a chance. You know, like these these last cards they've had in hand, Precious Pet, Precious Pet, Draven. Like these don't kill us. That kills us. That kills us. They're definitely blocking with, <laughs> right? Like they're, they're definitely blocking. This is gonna hurt. For they really did. All right, we gotta do this because we're gonna draw Scorched Earth. Here it is. Oh, so close. It was three mana. It is not Scorch Earth or Guillotine, though, but it's three mana. So close. Alright, back to Fiora Shen. Like, House Spider is great against, like, the, all the small things except for Fiora, right? Like, it's not good against Fiora, but it's really good against the other one drops in River Shaper and Bright Steel Protector. So it's like, sometimes you really want House Spider, sometimes you don't want House Spider at all. So that's hard to say. Well, I guess we're going to keep it. Yeah, so depending on what they had, it could be a good blocker. I've got your back. Nature blesses her followers. Intruders. Alright, so we got a bright steel protector out of their hand, so that is good. gonna try. I think it's worth it. It's just like the best use of Culling Strike ever. Uh, but of course they have one one card that completely counters it. So we trade a Culling Strike for Sharp Sight. So you do. Who would trespass here? I never hold try me. Counter and strike. It must be done. Nature blesses her followers.
All right, gonna try to get rid of these barriers and block. Get one damage on the Shen for the Scorched Earth. Okay. This worked out pretty well. I'm gonna just save spell mana instead of playing the Shade Stalker. So unfortunately I don't have enough mana to go Rekindler and Scorched Earth, which is really the best thing to do this turn. Withering a whale. You're covered. Withering a whale. I wonder if they pass also. They may they're like bright steel protectoring. Honor guide me. Destination in sight. I like that card, that's good. One candle for every soul. Unseen, unheard. Whatever the cost. Fire! So our plan is Bright Steel Protector. Oh no, the tough. The tough. Alright. I was hoping to mark something, but. Yeah, that's true. Kindred would just be dying anyway. We need more of those Scorched Earths, right? We need like a Noxian Guillotine. Or Vengeance. Last time we played this matchup, we had, what, two two Scorched Earths, a Guillotine, and a Vengeance, right? Like we had like all of those cards. They also didn't have Concerted Strike last time. I think that saved the Fiora. Yeah, the Fiora still dies. They just kind of wasted that single combat. I'm very glad they did. Like, that single combat, like, with the 9-9 and everything would have been awesome. I'm very glad they just used that kind of for no reason. That was a pretty bad single combat. The Fiora. Alright, so if I attack here, Bright Seal Formation gets to kill one thing, but then they don't get to kill the other two things. Yeah, I gotta attack. Yeah, that was a Swain's Ravenous Flock. Because it's tough for them to go down to one. That's pretty tough. Oh, come on! Really?
Well, they didn't kill my swain. Show them what we're made of. I don't know what you're made of. They should thank you for the key. Tell me something good. Come to the night. Turn them apart. Stand for what's right. If I just attack with the two rekindlers, they don't have to block, they can go to two. By my honor, you must die. Who do you mark? The weakest enemy? So that will be Fiora now. Its heart beats fast now. It knows. Pomp. Good job, Kindred. Start chomping. Ooh, look at that whisper words. Zero out of four. <laughs> I don't mark anything, but that's okay. They just got like a barrier in hand, but then we'll. Vile Feast the Barrier. Oh, lame. All right, that should be game. Gotta slay that spider. Oh, that's not the first time I slayed something this this turn. Okay, well I don't know how cards work. There's also that. My life for these lands. <laughs> All right, not done yet. All right, I think now they're dead. Okay. That's how that card works. <laughs> Sometimes you just have too many resources and you just want to get rid of a kindred in your hand. All right, back to another aggro matchup. This will be a good test. We lost to our other very aggro deck. This time we got some house spiders. Do we just keep triple house spider? I kind of think so. I kind of think of just keeping all of this. Like we don't mulligan a house spider, right? What's up, Skylar? All right. Full house spider. Wow, that's that's kind of meta. Uh, let's, let's see if they want to trade, because trading is good for me, because they have um, lots of like they have like lots of ways to like buff up all their stuff with like vision and things like that. But then they also have like crowd favorite that like rewards them for going wide. Yeah, they have like that kind of card. Interesting. Eighteen. Flame jumpers. 
That makes it more... A little bit more important to kill this arena battlecaster. Otherwise, the flame chompas eat my 1-1s. One eh. I, I am holding Withering Whale. The reason why I don't want to do this is because I want Spell Mana to go along with Kindred. And that's like the reason not to do it. Alright, but we're going to do this. All right, time to clear some room. We're going too wide. Not really. I didn't sting that much. Uh, but I gotta kill that too. Like Kindred's Death's Hand and kill two things. You know, like mark something, kill it. Or what, Withering Whale? And then Death's, Withering Whale plus Death's Hand and get rid of the Jinx. Yeah, a bunch of different things we could do this this turn. Killing Jinx is top priority, though. Bleh. I just wail again. I'm never gonna wail again. It's not really great to wait till they attack because you know they get the plus one plus zero on these things. Um, they also get to like do some challenging. All right, we'll do it now. I want to play the kindred. Whoa, that's weird. My kindred was dancing. I want them both at I want them at one health because if I have my three two block the seven the three health then you know, like this other one's at two health I'd rather them just both be at one. Fortunately, that means we mark the two one. <laughs> Keep getting these Evershade Stalkers. They don't help very much. What's the worst that could happen? Really? What's the worst that can happen? You can't think of anything bad that could happen? What science without a little risk? Jump. Okay, vengeance is removal for Ugh. removal for Jinx. Blood, glory. Or it looks like Draven. If they have that thing that like protects their strongest ally whenever they discard it, and then also have rummage, that'd be sad. Pass. 
Kindred! This deck is sweet. I can, I can deal the Vile Feast. It's not a bad draw. No, my kindred. I think we got this though. Just got one card in hand. This is gonna hurt for you. All right, four and one. Yeah, it turns out having triple house spider, double withering whale can help get you there. Yeah, I, I agree. This was a sweet deck. This deck was really fun to play. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, like, we lost, like, the big Darius. We didn't draw our Scorcher, their Guillotine, or Vengeance to be able to kill it. But I liked this. I liked the Rekindlers in here. I liked the Leviathan. Um, this was really cool. I think that, um, yeah, I think I like all the, the card choices. I like having, like, triple Unspeakable Horror, Vile Feast, and Withering Whale. Like, that was really nice. Then also having all the, ho all the House Spiders. Like, those were really nice for blocking and everything. Your Flocks were good. Everything worked out well with this deck. I liked it quite a bit. I wouldn't... Yeah, I don't think I would change a card. I think I would just keep playing it as is. Um, best deck of the day right here. Yeah, we didn't get to play against Targon, right? Like, we didn't see Aphelios Targon, so I'm not sure how we fare there. You know, we didn't get to see that kind of matchup. You do have some decent removal for, like, Aphelios. Like, that's that's the thing with, like, your, your Aphelios Zoe decks. Like, you need to be able to kill the champions, and... We do have a lot of good removal against those champions, so maybe if you can keep the ch champions clear, um, maybe you can win with, you know, late game Kindred, Swain, Leviathan. I think for that kind of matchup, it's going to be how much do they draw their invoke cards, you know, like the the three mana one, two that invokes and like Mountain Scryer and Star Shaping and all that kind of stuff. It's those, those are going to be the real problematic cards for sure. But, you know, like we, you know, we have like, Leviathan getting that card advantage. We have Rekindler bringing stuff back. We have Whisper Words. So, like, you have some stuff there. Um, but, yeah, I'm not sure exactly how that would play out. But, however, for all the people playing, like, Twisted Fate Fizz, I think, like, that's probably a really good matchup for us with having Triple Withering Whale and, like, all this other stuff and just, like, a lot of aggro decks in general. We did lose to one aggro deck, but that one, you know, like, they had a great, great hand and um, they went all the way up to the Darius at the top end and, and uh, I couldn't, I didn't have the last card to kill it. But I think overall you're going to have a, a really solid matchup against all sorts of aggro with this kind of deck. And then, yeah, you get to Scorch Earth and Veil Temples. That's always fun. So there we go. That's Kindred Swain. Very good deck here. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this deck as much as I did. And if so, don't forget to uh, leave those comments. If you try out the deck yourself, let me know how it goes for you. This one was, was really, really good. So let me know how it goes for you there on YouTube. And, um, you know, those I always enjoy seeing those comments. All right, but that's all I got here for Kindred Swain. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.